Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Happy Thanksgiving as a recording of this. It is Thursday, November 23rd, the day to give thanks. And I must say, I'm pretty grateful for my life, how things have worked out for myself over the past 10 or 12 years personally, and from a business standpoint, from a career standpoint, if you will, starting this YouTube channel, not even knowing what the future held and just kind of seeing the timeline. I'm inviting you to join me today. Just want to throw it out there real quick, just kind of get that out of the way. No real rhyme or reason what I'm doing today. Well, there's a couple things. My mom and dad are driving up from their home and they're going to be meeting, here, meeting me here in about an hour or two. We are going to end up getting some food. My mom said she did not want to cook a big meal, did not want me to go to their place because during Christmas time, she is going to pull out all the stops and cook a smorgasbord of food for the entire family. So today she said, I don't really feel like cooking. I said, celebration. They're gonna make the commute up. Not too far, they're only about a half hour, 45 minutes from here. And we're just gonna kind of meander around this area and go to a buffet, which should be interesting. I've never been to a Thanksgiving buffet Assuming that we can get in there, I would imagine you don't have to get reservations. About a mile that way, right across on 192. But they have turkey, they have stuffing, they have mashed potatoes, they have cranberry sauce. I thought about possibly the three of us going over to a Disney resort. My mom's a pass holder, my dad is not an annual pass holder, even though they do have Thanksgiving meals in the park. It'd be way too difficult and too hectic to try to get in there and eat a traditional Thanksgiving meal. So we're gonna stay off of, out of the Disney parks. And I was also looking up Steakhouse 71. They have a traditional uh, contemporary. And the portion size looked really small. The last thing on Thanksgiving that you want to do is not be really full. This is a day not only for gratefulness, but also for gluttony. Buffet, buffet time. I'm inviting you to join me. Thanks for watching. Shall you? Later on this evening, I'm going to throw the Blu-ray on of planes, trains, and automobiles, a tradition where every year, there are a couple times I do not have the chance, but I would say probably for the last decade or so. Every once in a while, there'll be a year where it doesn't happen, but I will watch planes, trains, and automobiles, greatest Thanksgiving film probably ever made, and probably up there with the top, one of the top films ever made, John Hughes. So I'll be doing that a little bit later, obviously. That'll be like late, that'll be later tonight in the comfort of my own apartment. Right now it's 11 o'clock. It's gonna be a really low key day and a low key episode. I wanted to just document the day. We got some local residents out riding their bikes. The tree is up, Not no snow yet, no tree lighting yet. That happens post Thanksgiving. So basically Christmas has been going on. You know, Christmas pretty much starts, especially in the theme park world right after Halloween. I mean, Halloween, as soon as Halloween starts, October 31st, in, you know, Halloween ends, immediately Christmas kicks off on November 1st when it, when it comes to the themed world. But in the quote unquote normal world, it starts off right after Thanksgiving is Christmas time. Not Christmas day, but Christmas time. So that is when everything goes into full on Christmas thing. But you can't, you can't slip over Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is very important, and it's wedged in between two massive consumeristic holidays of Halloween and Christmas, but don't sleep on Thanksgiving. You gotta feed that belly. Not that I've been doing really well with how I've been eating. I haven't been doing horrible. Haven't gone completely off the rails. I've been moderately like one foot on the rail and the rest of my body leaning off the rail. Today, all bets are off. There's no dieting on Thanksgiving. There's no crying in baseball. And there's no dieting and no watching what you eat on Turkey Day. Even if you don't eat turkey, if you choose not to eat turkey, that's fine. Shove your face full of lots of other things. Just come on, do it. Strictly enforced by the new generation. Toeway Zone. Because they are, this, this whole area down here, you can no longer drive down Market Street and you will not be able to drive down Market Street until after New Year's. So within the last week or two, they put all this up and there will be no vehicles on Market Street 
for one twelfth of the year, actually probably one tenth of the year because halfway through November, let's say one tenth of the year, Market Street is not accessible to vehicles. And we don't have real ice here. This is a fake ice, plastic ice that you can ice skate on. One day I'm gonna go to New York and I'm gonna go to, to the, the big Christmas tree there and the, the ice skating rink from Home Alone 2, one day, but not this year. Very pleasant right now, it's 63 degrees. It's only gonna get up to 69, it's only gonna be one degree below 70. I am definitely thankful for, for cool right there. I'm also thankful the cool is staying on that lower step and not like charging towards my feet. But look, he's just like relaxing right here on the first step, right here like, along the front the cusp of Lake Reinhardt right there. Look at him, he's like eyeballing me, enjoying, enjoying the weather out here. I wonder if anyone's giving him any turkey. You should never feed an alligator. Do you think there's any tur any turkeys floating around in here? I mean, there's a goose over there. Not the same thing, but yeah. You probably shouldn't eat a turkey. Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat a, a turkey, cool. Look at this though. He's just like relaxing right there. That's great. Just just like uh, nestling those little, little toesies on the concrete. One day I would like to have one of these little carts right there. They're kind of hard to find though. I don't really know where you'd buy something like that. But they got the Christmas trees up here. They are completing the little gingerbread house, which is where Santa is gonna be nestled in there to meet everyone here in town. Down the road, not, not today, but yeah. All right, it's really busy inside the Starbucks. Really, really busy inside the Starbucks. They close at four today. Peppermint latte, normal peppermint latte, hot with two pumps of mocha instead of the five. It's about a half mocha, four, Alden. <laughs> oh man, it was busy in there. It was hard. To, it's hard to. It's hard to hear. It. I mean, there was like so many freaking people in there. A very pleasant day, weather-wise, vibe-wise, ambiance-wise. A lot of wisdom flowing through celebration right now on Thanksgiving Day, 2023. People out walking their dogs. Got some crows over there on that trash can. You got people riding their bikes. Going by, I'm standing here at the fountain, drinking my Alden Starbucks coffee. Fresh coffee, fresh piping hot beverage as well. Cool is over there. Well, cool was over there. Still no sign of Howard the Duck, which is normally right there with that PVC. Oh, I think, I think Howard's just gone. I think he's just gone. Just a nice relaxing day. Sometimes it's nice to enjoy a holiday, not really go too intensely. I did two of the Disney theme park Christmas parties, one at Hollywood Studios a couple nights ago, and then last night I did it at Magic Kingdom. And let me tell you, they kind of wore me out. So tonight, today it's kind of nice to have a more relaxing, low-key kind of day. It's, it's gonna be nice. That is like effervescently flowing right there. Those two little, little holes like beating the water up there. Now, even though technically Celebration is Kissimmee, downtown Kissimmee is 10 miles away. Miami, 192. Captiva Island over there. St. Pete, Cape Canaveral. Even have Boston on there. Well, I was just recently in Boston. And then you got Burbank. It's like over there written on the side. It's interesting why they, I guess probably they put Burbank over there, because that's where Walt Disney Studios is. I don't know why Boston, I don't know why they chose Boston and not like New York City, not that it has anything to do with Disney, but, and I heard a rumor that when they first created Celebration back in the mid 90s, and they built this fountain, they misspelled Walt Disney World. I think it said WAD Disney World. I'm, try, I'm still trying to find a photo documentation of that. There's a heavy rumor on the locals here that they misspelled Walt Disney World. They spelled it WAD Disney World. <laughs> I kind of wish it still was Wad Disney World. I've never noticed that this was the slogan here. Celebration of Florida, you've got to see this place. And this is located on the around the other side of the guide map here, the general layout of the land, which back in the day when it first opened, had boats in the water there. There are no boats in the water anymore, but I kind of wish there would be boats in the water. I think that would kind of add to the ambiance a little bit. If you're familiar with Celebration, you know downtown is very difficult to find parking especially the two lots beside Market Street. Take a look at this. Sometimes there's not even one spot open. I don't know if I've ever seen this parking lot this empty, which is good. Everyone is going spending time with friends and family, probably traveling, leaving town, 
going over to other places. But this is a rarity, just, just to show that. And right there, look, there's just like a bunch of street parking. And then over here, rarely if ever, because this is a smaller lot, is there a spot here. No problems on Thanksgiving Day. It's like Twilight Zone, which is interesting because the Starbucks, when I got my coffee, was insanely busy. Like next level busy. Not just be people who live in the immediate area that just walked in. Well, something's going on up here. The little dock up here is closed down. Not really sure what happened. The family over there at the bike rental place, that must be one of their little scooters. Sidewalk closed, cross here. Something happened. It looks structurally sound. It's such a nice day out. Earlier this month, I was able to go, when I was up in the Boston area, in that area, went down towards Plymouth, Massachusetts, to Plymouth Rock, where the pilgrims were. Saw the Mayflower too. So it's kind of neat to do that in the month of Thanksgiving. I'm glad I did that, I've never been there. Some cypress knees right here. Cypress tree and cypress knees because they're smaller and they look like knees. As I was walking over there, a couple were walking and they go, are you taking photos? I go, I'm taking some video. They go, there's an otter over there. Just keep walking. So I kept walking, they kept going on. I never found the otter. I've never seen an otter in this lake. I don't know if they were pulling my leg, pulling my chain, but I would like to see an otter. If there's an otter in here, which I don't know if there is, but they said there was. And I've seen gators in here, and I've seen birds, and I've seen turtles, but I have not seen an otter. So I don't know if that's true or maybe could be. Whenever I hear the word otter or sea otter, how cute they are, I think of the Dennis Leary No Cure for Cancer comedy skit, which I'm kind of paraphrasing, but how I, you know, you only only consume consume animals that aren't cute, because we only we only save the cute ones. I'm an otter. I swim around on my hands and do cute little human tricks with my hands. You're free to go. What are you? I'm a cow. Get on the truck, pal. All right, got the nativity up over here. Ooh. Man, it looks like baby Jesus is intact in future, in previous, not future, in previous years. They didn't have this around the nativity. But you know, over time, they gotta put stuff up like that because sometimes people would come in here and I had seen that the baby Jesus was not in there. And I was kind of reading some stuff online. It seems as if when it comes to nativities, sometimes that is the thing that a lot of people just wanna take, which is like horrible. Like, I don't know why, but so they got this around it, and they also have this plexi around it. So don't, don't steal that. Also, there's, also, I've mentioned this in the past, like why that, why, you know, Jesus went down in there, and some people have the theory that he will not be in there until, till the day after Christmas. That's what some say, because he didn't arrive until then. But clearly, he's right there right now on Thanksgiving. I don't know. And even though Howard, Howard the Decoy Duck is now a PVC, I think the new thing, the new character of celebration, if you will, just showed the other day, but one is the cone. It's the dirty cone down there in the water. Looks well, like a koi fish, but it's not a fish. They were cones. Celebration cone. That's a serious amount of birds up there in those trees. Right. All right, we have arrived at the Golden Corral on Highway 192. The line is insane, which makes sense. It's a buffet, open 10 to 10. It's about, my mom and dad got into town, it's about 2.25 now. We're just kind of hanging out with them, catching up. Haven't seen them in a little while. We're gonna get in line. So fun fact, years ago, this used to be Water Mania. The slogan was catch a wave at Water Mania. Now Water Mania is gone, it was a water park. And now there's some restaurants, some hotels, things like that located here at Camden Town Square. But yeah, look over there, look at the line. Woo! 
like there's a lot of people that don't want to cook today. Seems to be moving pretty quick though. Wanna say hi, Mom? Hey! Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. You've been to Golden Corral for Thanksgiving once before, right? Yes, a long time ago. How was it? It was delicious. Everything you could think of. My dad's here as well. Howdy. I was, uh, <laughs> I was on Facebook the other day and I was rudely interrupted by a jogger that uh, bounced off my windshield. Dad, you remember what this used to be years ago? This this property right here? I think this was the water mania place. Yeah, the wave, remember the, the wave pool? Yeah, the wave pool. They used to sound some kind of an alarm, a horn or something. They got out there. Ooh, ooh, and then this big tsunami came whacking you up. Yeah. Back up into the picnic tables. It was amazing. It does seem to be moving pretty quick. Seems to be. I think they're just running about the other side. <laughs> The All the tables are full, folks. Keep <laughs> keep moving. Keep moving. Fast, keep moving. Oh yeah, and there's not a lot of places that I don't think buffet-wise that have like the full Thanksgiving. There's not many buffet places here yet. They're kind of a, like a thing of the past. Yep. Yeah. The pandemic came, that a lot of them went out of business. That's true. Not Golden Corral. They're still holding strong. And obviously, there's plenty of people. It's like even Batman has showed up to get his. Thanksgiving buffet on. The Dark Knight is here. Ah. Yeah. yeah, I see that. Dark Knight, yeah. It was tough to find parking, but we did find a parking spot. Our shrewd driver. I'm the driver. I'm a, sh I'm a shrewd. You're a shrewd driver. I am. Searching your Columbo skills. Columbo like research skills. I will admit, when we first pulled in here, I did not think this line would be moving this quickly, but it's moving pretty fast. You know what kind of plants these are? Flowers those are? I mean, that's a shrub, but... Petunias? Is that a, what is it? Petunias? No. <laughs> those are sprinkle wrinkles. All right, they're holding the spot in line. I just realized I left my wallet in the car. My wallet's gone. I think he took his wallet. I think he took his wallet. Two 80s references there. Throw it out. Back when this was water mania in the early 90s, my sister and I came here. My sister is going to be down here, hopefully, for the Christmas season next month, so she wasn't able to make it down for Thanksgiving. But her and I attended a Ranger Bob television production. Ranger Bob was a TV personality in the 90s around here. And at the wave pool, me and her were in an episode of the Ranger Bob TV. I've never been able to find, never been able to dig through the interwebs or find the Ranger Bob episode where my sister and I were on it. And also the guy that played Ranger Bob years later worked at Hollywood Studios as one of the street performers, the citizens of America back, the citizens of Hollywood, I should say, at MGM Studios before they started to like downgrade the amount of performers are there now. It was like hardly any, but originally there were like 30, and then it went down to like 20, and then 12, and then six. But he was like one of the original ones. The guy who played Ranger Bob went on to work at MGM. Wish you could find those clips at Watermania. Catch a wave. I just realized what everybody's in line for. Yeah, the copycat. There's $25 Universal Studio tickets. That's what this line's for, the time share. <laughs> The Is it not? $25 tickets. One free park ticket or $150 cash. Yep, now I know why the line's like this. Also, Legoland. Oh, Legoland's $25. SeaWorld's $35. It's a good, good deal. All right, their business hours are 10 a.m. to 0 p.m. 10 a.m. to 0. But they're open till 10. So big thanks to the Golden Corral and the workers for being open to service a nice traditional meal. Like a whole tourist mecca in here. You can take a look at the line out the door now. Yeah, a holiday dinner to enjoy over and over and over and over again. Holiday buffet, traditional holiday favorites including turkey, ham, and holiday beef roast. A little uh, green beans, a little mashed potatoes and gravy. You got the turkey here. 
You got the bread up top. They don't really call it all you can eat anymore. They just say a holiday dinner and over and over again. Usually now it's called all you care to enjoy. Voted the best buffet in the U.S. Might be the only buffet in the U.S. that even <laughs> still exists. I almost feel like we're in line for ratatouille. <laughs> right? Yeah, you feel like we're in line for ratatouille right now? <laughs> well, we don't have to run out of food before we get away. We did that time before we got up there and get on the ride and broke down. We have the worst luck with rides. We wait in a long line and then when it's time to get on the ride, it breaks down. If we run out of food, we know we're cursed, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on two rides that have broken down while we waited like an hour in line for. I was looking for the price. It's $19.99. Make memories around our table, $19.99. Alright, there's a corral of people right here that we're about to join and there's a lady with a walkie-talkie letting everyone know to move up to the line for the buffet. Alright, step one is done. We've made it into the Second Q line. All right. The employee with the walkie talkie gave us the table for three over here. So the line starts here and stretches. There's two lines, one and one, and goes all the way over to the buffet grill. And got two plates each just in case because you definitely don't want to fill up one plate and then wait another. 20 minutes in the line to get back up for the meats and stuff, so we're gonna fill two plates up each. All right, that was a little bit of a challenge, but not too terrible about it. It didn't move pretty quickly. I got the roll, I got the green beans, I got the roast right there with the roast goodness, got some corn. Dad got some meat products too, but he also got a salad up there, some mac and cheese, carrots. Definitely got the uh, kind of the, the traditional style turkey here, cranberry sauce. We went with the stuffing right there. I didn't see any mashed potatoes, however. My mom, she kind of loaded up as well, too. You definitely don't want to make too many trips because the line is really, really long. So, did you load it up? <laughs> we don't want to have to get back in that line. <laughs> All right, I tried the turkey. The turkey is really good. I tried the stuffing. Stuffing was really good as well too. Kind of wish there was mashed potatoes and gravy, or maybe, maybe it's on the other side if we didn't see it. Oh, 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 there you go. Santa Claus is over there. The guy with the big white beard looks like Santa Claus. All right, getting pretty full, but got to save room for some dessert. Got some bread pudding here, apple cobbler. Pies down in there. I think the pumpkin pie is going so fast, like flying off the shelves. Ooh, that looks like pumpkin pie right there. I think that is pumpkin pie. Also says, be thankful every day right there. That right there is pumpkin pie. I got lucky with the pumpkin pie. I guess they brought a, a new one. It's going pretty quick. And then I got bread pudding. Got apple cobbler, some kind of jello. I'm not sure what this is. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. That's what that is. And a pumpkin pie. All right, heading out now through the exit door. And back out and see how long. See if this line has dissipated. It does not look like it has. Whew, that, I am full. Very full. Thanks to Golden Corral for being open. Thanks to the employees for working. Thanks for the delicious food. A little bit of a wait, but no cleanup, no cooking, no washing dishes. Enjoyed some time. We sat in there for probably about an hour eating. Catch up with my mom and dad. Take a look at the line over there. Constant line, Golden Corral. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, made it back over to town now. Cross 192, back over in celebration. I am pretty full. Mom and dad went home. They got their, their eating on as well. We all ate a little bit too much. Was not disappointed. And they actually did add mashed potatoes back up to the buffet, but we were so full after eating two plates of food and the desserts. We did not opt to go back up for the mashed potatoes and the other options that they put out. But it was worth it. We're definitely very, very busy, but glad that, the, glad that they were open for the Thanksgiving season, or the Thanksgiving day. And I think now I'm gonna head over to my place and watch a, throw a little Blu-ray on. 
little planes, trains, and automobiles, a Thanksgiving tradition, and kind of relax in the evening. My apartment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.